Many travelers love Hawaii, especially Maui, and we're planning a trip there until the deadly wildfires broke out. Can you still go? What are some other options? Consumer reporter John Mattery spoke with travel agents about this for his Don't Waste Your Money report. The cleanup is now beginning in Maui after the most devastating wildfire in recent U.S. history. But for people in central Pennsylvania who had been planning to go there in the near future, the question is, now what? Travel agent Jerry Katz is scrambling to rebook clients who had been planning a Maui trip this fall. Honolulu to Lahui instead of going to Maui. He's advising customers to switch to a different Hawaiian island for now. That's as travelers just getting back to the mainland from Maui are counting their blessings after scenes of fire they'll never forget. That felt really apocalyptic. <laughs> The good news is that most of Maui, including the popular Kanapali Beach area, was not directly affected by the fire. The bad news is if you are planning to go there in the next few months, it'll still be impacted by everything that happened around it. So you're going to miss a lot of the magic of Maui as people are definitely going to have their minds and hearts in other areas. Many Kanapali Beach hotels, though undamaged, are being used as temporary housing for workers. In addition, Hawaii's governor has issued an essential travel-only order through the end of August for parts of Maui. With airlines in many hotels waiving change fees for Maui, Jerry suggests switching your trip to Honolulu, the big island, or Kauai. But Kauai is an amazing island. It's actually my personal favorite. And as you change your plans, he suggests sending a few dollars to the Red Cross. United Way of Maui or Maui Strong Fund to help the people there rebuild. By next year, Jerry says he'd be comfortable visiting Maui again, especially to support all the local businesses and the people there. As always, don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, ABC 27 News.